Hey guys, Brandon with Eternal Armory here. We're doing a little video to kind of show you guys a little bit about our voice amps that we have. We get a lot of questions about how they sound, how loud they are, uh, how they work, so on and so forth. So we thought we'd do just a little video here to show you what they're all about. Uh, this is a board that we designed from an old electronics kit, like the ones you used to be able to get at Radio Shack or buy online uh, through Electronics Goldmine. Uh, but we found that the quality of the parts that we were ordering were very inconsistent. So sometimes we get voice amps that work really well and some didn't. So we designed our own and uh, made this tiny little board and used higher quality components along with um, some new features that the old kits didn't include like the screw terminals so that we don't have to solder anything on the customer's end. Uh, we also removed the large potentiometer that was a volume control and added a board mounted one for mic volume control so you can just kind of set it and forget it not worry about it anymore. Uh, you can see here are these six screw terminals when you order one of these guys and you get your email with your tracking information, I always send a link uh, to the schematic here. And you can see that your first two connections go to the battery. The next two, uh, numbers three and four, are for a switch or a pre-installed jumper wire if you don't want to do a switch. And then five and six are for your speaker. So um, you've got that to look at and you can see here, this is just the same diagram with a toggle switch installed. Okay, what I've done here to this uh, display model that I'm actually going to put in my own helmet right there is uh, I put in a switch, so I'll have a switch to turn it off and on. This is one of our, uh, I believe it's a 25 millimeter transducer. Uh, we are now doing the 19 millimeters, which sound great, but they're just a little bit smaller in size, which is a good thing inside a Mando helmet, so, or any helmet. For that uh, it all runs on a 9 volt power source. What you see here, when you order one of these, it does come with this connector, it does not come with a battery. And all you'll need for installation, besides some sort of mounting, is one of these. And all that is is just a tiny little uh, Phillips screwdriver. Okay, now to kind of give you guys an example as to how these things sound, this is hard to do with one hand, but I've just got a styrofoam bowl here. This is uh, the same kind of thing you get in any chili cook-off or anything like that. So I'm just gonna turn this on and you'll, you'll note that when I talk into it, it doesn't make a lot of sound with the transducer in open air. But the big difference here comes when I've got the mic really hot, but, and I don't even have it near my face, but you can see that it makes a very, very loud speaker out of anything that it's connected to. And it has a pretty satisfying robotic sound to it. Um, of course, you're not going to be running it through styrofoam, you're going to be running it through a helmet. But you can tell, I've got, you can tell that it makes a big difference when this is touching something. Uh, that's the whole idea of a transducer. It turns whatever it's against into a speaker, so you don't have to have an actual speaker. Um, which is nice inside a helmet because you can make the entire helmet into your speaker, so you don't have to worry about placement. And believe it or not, it's it's not actually deafening inside, as, as you might assume. Um, you can hear your own voice, you can hear the voice amp, but it's not overpowering. Uh, what it really does is it projects outward in almost every direction, depending on placement um, inside your helmet. So everybody's head shaped different. So as far as placement goes, I'll leave that up to you. But uh, you can you can really you can really hear these things, and all you have to do is place this against you know a relatively flat surface on the inside of your helmet, and it works pretty well. You can, you can even hear it a little bit through my table, just sitting there. So, um, play around with your placement. Put it on different uh, materials. Some guys put them against uh, different um, materials inside their helmet if they have room. Um, for the most part, they're intended to be just put on top or on the side or somewhere in the back, maybe along the key slot area. Um, if you can get a relatively uh, flat place, right in here or right here on the inside works pretty well. Um, this thing's project, but play with them. Um, you will note that the uh, microphone is board mounted, so you'll wanna put this little guy kind of up near your mouth. It is omnidirectional, so it'll pick up your voice, but uh, it does need to be near your mouth, but not so close that we can hear you breathing all the time, uh, unless that's the effect you're going for. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, feel free to email us, and uh, I appreciate you taking a moment to watch our video.